Hello folks, let's go ahead and take a look at how to reserve a static IP address for your computer engine. Basically what this means is every time you restart your server for whatever reasons if you had to, uh, you will not lose the IP address of the server. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm going to name the servers uh, based on what I plan to demo them for or plan to use them for. It's just for the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and change it to the bare minimum. Over here, you go into what's called management and networking and all that stuff. Go into networking. Go to network interfaces. And here where you see external IP, I'm going to say create IP. And uh, I'm going to call it uh, tube static. Or you could name it whatever you like. Uh, maybe name it same as the instance name. and say create. While that's happening I'm going to create one more uh, and this time I'm not going to uh, reserve a static for it. Non-static IP server. Just go ahead and change this and say create. So the first one has an external IP and the second one, it does not have one yet because one has not yet been assigned to it. It's basically going to be a dynamic IP. Every time I switch off the machine and switch it back on, let me switch it off for a moment, it's going to lose the IP. Keep a note, uh, actually look at this IP, it's not going to disappear once the machine goes off. Now you see the servers have been brought down and uh, for the second one year it does not have an external IP address but the third one already has uh, I mean still has the IP address reserved for it and when you switch it back on you will see that uh, it has not lost the IP address and the second one will get a new IP address. Now here is one important piece that I wanted to uh, show you. Let's say you're playing around with these servers and for whatever reason you decide to have a static IP address and later you say you don't want the server, you just go ahead and switch it off and delete it. Uh, you need to make sure you go release the IP address. We take a quick peek at how to do that. Now actually the machines are back up and you see it still has the same IP address as before and this one has got a new IP address. Let me now switch off the servers. See how I have three servers and uh, let me go ahead and switch them back off. Let's go ahead and delete these servers. I decide I don't want to use the servers so I delete them. Now as mentioned before, if you do not release the static IP address, deleting the server is not enough. If you do not release the static IP address, you're going to get charged as it says here. External stati static IP address, uh, you know, when it's assigned and in use, they're not going to charge you for it because you're paying for the server. But let's say you switch off the server or even delete the server, you're going to get charged for the static IP address. It's very bare minimal, but if you had a few of those servers and a few different static IP addresses uh, reserved over time, then you're going to end up paying around $7 a month, which is not a big deal if you're paying thousands of dollars. But then, hey, if you're just playing around for your personal use, you probably don't want to use lose that money for no reason. So here is where you need to go and release the static IP address. Go to VPC network, external IP addresses. See of the uh, two machines. This one's the first one I had already created before this video, so forget about that for a moment. There is the static IP address that I created during this video. It's not in use by any machine, and uh, you're gonna get charged for it. In fact, both these I'm gonna get charged for because even my first server is off. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say release static IP address on the second one. And yeah, uh, that way I don't get charged uh, for an IP address that I'm not using at all. If I wanted to delete this one, I would have to go delete the server instance and then release the IP address. So yeah, uh, that was a quick look at two things. One, how to reserve a static IP address. And two, if you are not using it and if you want to make sure you're not losing money for no reason, uh, then go ahead and make sure you release it. Again, not a big deal if you're already paying thousands of dollars to Google Compute Engine, but uh, if you have many of these, it's going to stack up. Uh, 
and uh, you might want to consider releasing it. Uh, thank you. Hope this was helpful.